we have a 30-day stay, which means at the end of January, we don't really know what's going to happen here on Bullseye Radio as of yet. But as of right now, we're, in a, we're on a 30-day stay. The Copyright Royalty Board has handed down a decision after meeting behind closed doors with Pandora, and uh, they came to an agreement in reference to the royalty rate increases, which is uh, on the bill H.R. 1733. The decision that they handed down literally cripples small stations, small webcasters all across the United States of America. Uh, as a matter of fact, there are stations that have been already shutting down left and right uh, here on, uh, you know, we've been keeping people abreast of this whole situation. Uh, Rewind Central is gone. Um, Live 365 has laid off all of their staff and, and closed their offices. They're operating out of their homes. All Classic Top 40 has just uh, closed their doors. Uh, RTDS Radio, uh, which RTDS stands for Radio That Doesn't Suck. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, they they close their doors. They're done. Um, let's see. Uh, Smooth Jazz Chicago, they're done. It's over. Uh, you know, so there are stations shutting down left and right all over the place. It's a very, very sad, sad thing. And, uh, you know, while this bill, H.R. 1733, is really a great bill to force terrestrial radio to finally pay their royalties, like they should have been doing from day one, okay? They should have been paying their bills from day one, but they weren't, all right? However, webcasters, that would be us and everybody like us, have been doing it since the day that internet radio was created we've been paying our royalty fees okay um, you know not only have they not been uh, paying their royalties but here's the other thing that happens with this bill uh, HR 1733 it creates a monopoly all right it creates a monopoly and in the United States of America the last time I checked Monopolies, I thought, were illegal. You know, you you can't be uh, a big business and take all of the business away from everybody else. That's a monopoly, and it's illegal. At least it was the last time I checked. All right. Now, some people have argued with me, you know, about uh, well, you know, this bill has nothing to do with small webcasters. It has nothing to do with small webcasters. It does. Let me tell you something. You're wrong, and I'm going to tell you why you're wrong. It does have something to do with small webcasters. Because in this bill, H.R. 1733, it was passed over to the Copyright Royalty Board, and the Copyright Royalty Board decided to do away with the SWSA. All right? It expired on December the 31st of 2015. All right? What is the SWSA? Small Webcaster Settlement Act. Okay, so H.R. 1733 has everything to do with the small webcaster when it does not have an inclusion of the SWSA. Okay, um, what the Copyright Royalty Board sneakily did behind closed doors with Pandora was come to an agreement where the finances that pay, uh, uh, pay, you know, the finances that Pandora pays, you know, were agreed upon between CRB and and, and them, and they left the uh, small webcaster, which literally are thousands of stations all across the the World Wide Web. They left the small webcaster completely and totally out of it. Didn't consider us at all, even though for years and years and years we've been paying our royalty fees didn't consider asking us at all if we wanted to be present during these talks uh, you know it was a complete and total neglect disrespect and it was uh, a sneaky snide thing to do but of course this is what we've come to expect from the music mafia that is exactly what the Copyright Royalty Board's 
members are. There are a bunch of people that got together and formed a extortion ring. Because that's what they're doing to small webcasters. They're extorting money from them. The music mafia. Well, I hope you're proud of yourself there, music mafia. Because not only have you single-handedly, with the swipe of one pen, taken down thousands of internet radio stations all across the United States of America, land of the free, which is, uh, at this point, looking at the way you're acting, a bunch of crap. Not only have you uh, taken down all of these wonderful stations that offer people different avenues of choice, which now they won't have any choice whatsoever, according to your ruling, but you have also killed the streaming server businesses, the chat room server businesses, chat room software services, messenger server services, messenger software servers, uh, services, community services, game servers and services, web hosting and servers, okay, uh, banner hosting services, domain name services, all of these people, all of these people are going to be affected by your lopsided, stupid, ignorant decision. Congratulations. You look like a bunch of retards, a bunch of fools, a bunch of greedy corporate pigs, which is exactly what you are, a bunch of greedy corporate pigs. Now, for those of you listening to this broadcast, and you should be really pissed off about this, you should be as pissed off as I am because people are taking your choices away from you without any right to. They are extorting money from you. They're saying to you, pay this amount or you don't get to do what you've been doing for the last 15 years. All right? For those of you that are pissed off, and you should be, go to bullseyeradio.com. On the front page of our website, you will see there a petition that says, We the undersigned oppose the decision of the Copyright Royalty Board to not include a provision such as the Small Webcaster Settlement Act of 2002, which has allowed for years small webcasters to have the ability to pay an affordable rate for royalties. They are trying to put small webcasters who do this just because they love to do it and they want to offer people an opportunity to uh, be, be uh, exposed to m a lot of music that you're not going to hear once this thing goes legal. All right? They are trying to take that away from us and limit your choices. And it's wrong. It is, it is Nazism at its best. It's anti-American. It is anti-American. Okay? The music mafia wants to do this to its constituents of the United States of America. Also on our front page, you will find a uh, letter that you can send to every single one of your state representatives, from your local mayor all the way up to your governor, all right, and everybody in between. Everybody in every state in the United States of America should be getting a copy of that letter, all right? This is completely and totally unacceptable. It is unacceptable for the Copyright Royalty Board, the Music Mafia, the corporate greedy pig thugs to extort money from people who have do, been doing this legally, mind you, or legally for years. Now, I've also had the argument, oh, well, you know, uh, FM Radio is paying their fees through FCC. Let me tell you something, pal. Wake up and smell the coffee. FCC is completely different, completely different 
than royalty rates. And you know how I know that? I deal on a regular basis with the artists, and the artists tell me that they don't see very much in royalties at all. And if you think I'm talking about some no-name junkie artist, no offense intended, all right? if you think I'm talking about some backdoor alley artist, somebody who performs in the nightclub and then goes home and pays his rent and goes to another job, no. I'm talking about Tommy James. I'm talking about Connie Francis. I'm talking about Pat Boone. I'm talking about Ronnie Dove. I'm talking about Bobby Vinton. I'm talking about the Rascals. I'm talking about the Lovin' Spoonful. Okay, these are people that I deal with. Right? You know, Denise Ferry. You know who signed our, our petition? David Gray. David Gray, singer of Babylon. He signed our petition. All right? These are people, these are artists that are not getting their royalty. So where are the royalties going? Where are the royalties going? They're trying to extort money from us. They're telling us that they're giving all of this money to the artists, but they're lying to your face. They're lying to you. The artists ain't getting this money. You know where the money's going? I'll tell you where the money's going. It's going to... Uh, uh, Mr. Copyright bo Board Number One's uh, Porsche. It's going to Mr. Copyright Board Number Two's vacation in Hawaii. It's going to Mr. Copyright Board Number Three's uh, condo in uh, the coast of Florida. It's going to uh, Mr. Copyright Board Number Four's five thousand dollar a plate meal. That's where the money is going. So don't try to bullshit me, Copyright Royalty Board. I'm a lot smarter than your average bear, so to speak. All right? You may be able to fool some of the people some of the time, but guess what? I'm hip to your stupid, greedy, corporate pig antics. And if you have any idea at all about the kind of person that I am. If you've ever listened to my previous radio shows, let me tell you something, pal. <laughs> you have one hell of a battle on your hands because I ain't going to shut up. You can try to make me shut up, but it ain't going to work because I'm going to rally every DJ in the United States of America against the Copyright Royalty Board, and I'm going to keep on rallying against the Copyright Royalty Board, and I'm going to keep on rallying against the Copyright Royalty Board until you fail, until everybody sees what a bunch of greedy pigs you are. You're worthless, you're useless, you're not anything at all. You have no class, no ethics, no business ethics at all. And I hope that you get caught in in some way, in, in some law, that will send you to prison, because that's where you belong for the antics that you're pulling. You belong in a prison. You're extorting money from people. It's wrong. This is one of my last. This is one of my last, you know, pleas to the people, really, and that's why I'm taking the time today to do this, okay? Because it's really we're on our last legs here, and if people don't start smartening up, if you DJs out there who are listening to this broadcast, if you don't start smartening up, your stations everywhere are going to be gone. Okay, I worked eight years along with all these wonderful staff members that I have on Bullseye Radio, along with all my wonderful listeners all right, who have supported this station for eight years. I have worked hard, long hours, not to have some corporate pig tell me I have to give him all the money that I have to keep it going. Screw you, pal. Screw you. Ain't happening. You got one hell of a battle on your hands, and you better get every gun you can because guess what? I'm calling in the recruits, pal. <laughs> I'm calling in the forces. 
and we're going to come at you with everything we got. So be ready. And that's it. <laughs> now I'll play a blues tune, and I'll come back with some more information about everything that's coming on uh, 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 later on tonight, too, as well, and we'll announce winners. Mm-hmm. 